Good evening, good evening, good evening. When I tell you we have a lesson today, ladies and gentlemen, listen to what I'm telling you. We have a lesson today. What difference does a teacher make? Listen, all day long. I've been contemplating this because I'm so excited about it. I had some of the most amazing teachers on the planet. And I'm going to tell you the difference a teacher makes. A teacher makes all the difference in the world, in the life of someone who is ready for a teacher's transformation. What difference does a teacher make? Oh my God. Goodness. Jump on in here, y'all. Jump on in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How are you this evening? Tyreek Wesley, what's going on, great professor? How you doing? What's going on, sis? Lisa Black Noel, how are you? How are you? How are you? A great teacher in her own right. Absolutely. What's going on, Obata? Absolutely. Absolutely. Y'all give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. Let me plug in this computer. I thought I had already plugged it in, but here I am, here I am, here I am. Listen, the difference a teacher makes, and I'm going to distinguish, somebody get in the Holy Ghost with me. I'm going to distinguish between a teacher and an instructor. What's going on, Angela? How are you? Good to see you. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, the great insomnia is on here. Ha, 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 ha. That great doctor. Listen, that great Umi. Listen, thank you all. Thank you all. The difference a teacher makes. What's the role of a teacher, right? What's the function of a teacher? Tunisia, how you doing? How you doing? What is the function of a teacher? Why is a teacher so incredible? Mm. Do you know a good teacher? can change the trajectory of your entire destiny. Oh, Tosha Oliver, please don't pull on me tonight because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get back. <laughs> Romaine, what's going on? I love you and I miss you too. Great, sir. You're a great, 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 great young man. Great young man. That Tosha Oliver is a transformative teacher also. Listen, what's going on, Baba Don? So, What's up? What's up? What's up? I don't, I, you know, your name is there, but I don't know if it's you or Umi Atita. If so, hey, Umi Atita. If it's my boys, now you know I'm finna get excited. <laughs> Thank y'all. Love y'all so much. Love y'all so much. Oh, there is a, listen, when I tell you there's a professor on here, that Dr. Jermaine Archer, Dr. Damani Adibayo is another level. That man's another level. That man's another level. He is another level. What's going on, Erica Batson? How you doing? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, yes, yes. Baba Danso, it's you then. Listen, you are you are the love of my life. Don't you ever forget that, young man. What's going on, Jumbo? Brother Kita, love you, love you, love you. Listen, the difference a teacher makes. Can somebody get in the Holy Ghost with me? The difference a teacher makes. The impact of, do you know, you can have a horrible household, you can be full of hurt, be full of all kinds of toil and tribulation. And in the presence of a teacher, a teacher make your life magical. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Oh my God. And listen, people are just now going back to school, right? Folks are going back to school. Most schools have just been in a week or two or some are just starting. And that's why this is so important. So Lewa, I love you. I love you. I love you. Yes, yes, yes. Miss Lee and Dreyer. Hey, hey, hey. I love you. Cousin Julia. Hey, Julia. How are you? Down there in Savannah. Love you so much, cuz. The difference a teacher makes. A teacher makes all the difference in the universe. Did you hear me? All the difference in the universe. All the difference in the universe. Barbara Winston, how are you? How are you? How are you? Yes, glad you are here. Hey, Laura, how are you? So glad you're here. Thank you for being here with us. Yes, the difference a teacher makes. The difference a teacher makes. Why teaching is so critical. Why teaching is so very, very, very important. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. 
where I want to start this evening, where I want to start this evening. Hey, Mama Janice, how are you? Yes, yes, yes. Y'all come on in. Thank y'all for being here. We're going to talk about teachers, teaching. We're going to talk about the excellence of teaching. We're going to talk about all the ways in which teaching has the power to transform a life. You know, oh, God. Tabitha, somebody come on and stay with me. What? Oh, my God. Wow, 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 wow. Someone says, Dr. Black, thank you for making the difference in my life back at CAU in 2000. Hey, listen, I love you. I'm not sure who that is, but you are welcome, 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 welcome. That's what I exist to do. That's why I exist to do. Oh, my God. Listen, let me tell you this, right, just because it's so on my spirit, I'm not going to be able to hold it. What's the difference between a teacher and an instructor? What's the difference between a professor and an instructor? Huh? An instructor gives you knowledge. An instructor gives you facts, which is very important. It's very important to have. They're not irrelevant. An instructor gives you information. A teacher gives you inspiration. An instructor gives you information. A teacher gives you inspiration. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. The point of a teacher is to make you so excited about learning that you can barely hold yourself down. The point of a teacher, a true teacher, I'm not talking about people who are just in the classroom. Come on now. Come on, Sherry. Come on, Sherry. The point of a true teacher is to inspire your desire to know. I can't hear nobody to inspire your desire to know. Brianna, am I talking good to say? Am I talking good today? Come on. What's going on? What's going on, Brother Clayton? Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Listen, listen. A good teacher, oh my God. A good teacher is always posing possibilities to you. A good teacher is always asking you why. A good teacher is always asking you to rethink what you think you know. I'm about to get going. Oh my God. An instructor wants you to say back to them what they said to you. Oh! An instructor wants you to repeat what they said to you. A teacher wants you to digest what they said to you and turn around and fight with it and struggle with it and stand with it and then bring it back transformed. Listen, a good teacher, a good teacher doesn't try to tell you what to say. No, a good teacher lays the variables in front of you and asks you, what do you see? See, what most people are missing, what most teachers are missing, and, and there are some excellent teachers, let me be clear, and many of them are on this platform right now, and I'm happy about it. The difference between analyzing a subject and summarizing it. Somebody's going to get this in just one minute. See, most of our education is summary. Most of our education is regurgitation. Most of our education is memorization. Most of our education, that's why we can have uh, multiple choice tests. Which one of these answers is correct? Because we're being instructed by instructors. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear anybody. The point of a teacher the point of a teacher is to invite the student to teach them. Oh, God, Brother Zion, help me out today. Woo! Umi Kariamu, am I talking good? Am I talking good, great Umi? Come on, somebody. That's a good instructor. And a good instructor is transformed by the same class he or she teaches. Not just the students transformed, the teacher is supposed to be transformed too. You're supposed to know, you're supposed to come out of a class knowing more than you knew when you went in. I don't mean the student, I mean the teacher. Come on, somebody. Mama Rose, am I talking? Mother, am I talking good? Oh, God, somebody help me. But see, you have to be an excellent teacher 
in order to really understand this. Now I'm gonna really say this, but also, but also, also, it does not require an excellent student for you to be an excellent teacher. Listen, you can give a student an F and you have done brilliantly. You have taught excellently and the student failed. Somebody's going to get this in just one minute. Oh, God, from Zion have mercy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if a student does not meet the expectation, if a student does not do the work, if a student does not enter the imagination and begin to rearrange knowledge, they don't have it yet. I'm talking to somebody, Akachi. I'm talking to somebody. Huh? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So the first thing I want to do is this. The first thing I want to do is this. I want to take a minute and I want to pour a libation. I want to pour a libation to any and every teacher who has ever transformed a life. Any of you, Pedro, how you doing, my brother? I love you. You know I love you. I've been looking for you, Pedro. Listen, anybody, anyone, right? Dr. Janice Lydell, I love you. I thank you. I'm going to talk about that woman in one minute. You talking about a hell of a teacher. That Dr. Janice Lydell was a hell of a teacher. Brilliant beyond measure, but also, also expected certain levels of knowledge, certain levels of learning. It wasn't mere regurgitation. No, she wanted you to come to dive in that text and excavate it and tell something that even may, perhaps she had not noticed. And it has absolutely saved my life. Really, truly, Dr. Lydell, it has saved my life. And I love you and I thank you for it. Dr. Georgine Best, one of the best professors and instructors I have ever seen. Unbelievable teacher, unbelievable college professor. Absolutely, positively, positively, positively unbelievable. But I want to pour a libation to amazing, amazing teachers. So if you have, if you know an, of an, an amazing teacher, put their name in the chat and I'm going to shout them out in this libation. I'm going to start where, where I just said, Dr. Janice Lydell. Ashe. Dr. Georgine Best. Ashe. Dr. Jocelyn Jackson. Ashe. 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 Come on. Someone says Dr. Francis Cress Welsing. Ashe. Ashe. Someone says Dr. Daniel Black. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ashe. 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 Yes, yes. Dr. John Henry Clark. Ashe. Ashe. Give me more. Give me more. Teachers who transformed your life. Teachers who changed your way of thinking. Teachers who changed your road. Teachers who made you travel a new direction and it made all the difference. Stephen Ray, Ashe. Mr. Anthony uh, Torlinskasi, I hope I'm saying it right. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Dr. Richard Wright, Ashe. Dr. Greg Carr, Ashe, Ashe. Yes, Buck Godfrey, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Come on. Dr. Maisha Kariamu Handy, Ashe, Ashe. Come on, come. Dr. Ernestine Pickens, Ashe, Ashe. Miss Shaw, yes, she taught that algebra. Yes, yes. Dr. Melbourne Cummings, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Come on, y'all, give me more. Give me more. Yes. Aina Chinna, Chinwu, Ashe. Miss Pierce, Ashe, yes, yes, yes. Miss Ann Crowfoot, Ashe. Ashe, yes. Dr. Joanne Terrell, Ashe, Dr. or Dr. Joanne Terrell, Ashe. Yes, yes. Dr. Nathaniel Norman Jr., Ashe, Ashe. Yes, Dr. White, Ashe. Mama Itihari Ture, Ashe, Ashe. Come on, y'all. Dr. Michael Eric Dyson, Ashe, Ashe. Baba Kita, Ashe, Ashe. Dr. Shabazz, Ashe, yes. Yes, Mr. David Norman, Ashe. Dr. Carolyn Stroman, Ashe. Baba Asa Hilliard, Ashe. Oh! Baby, we're calling the roll. I love it. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Teachers, teachers deserve their due. Dr. Aaron Larry Parker. Yes. Kata Holly, they say he was doing it. Yes. Dr. Henry Love Welchel. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Dr. Cornell West. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ida B. Wells. Ashe. Professor Ilya Davis. Yes. Hell of a teacher. Absolutely. Damali Makata. Ashe. Ashe. Dr. McLaughlin. Ashe. 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 Teachers. Teachers who make all the difference in the world. Teachers who transform lives. Yes, 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 yes. Dolores Alvarado. Ashe. Ashe. Dr. Jillian Johns. Ashe. 
Yes, the great Howard Thurman, Ashe. Dr. William Gunn, Ashe. Umi Ma'u Olamaroti, Ashe. Carter G. Woodson, Ashe. Listen, Sonia Sanchez, listen. When I tell you Sonia Sanchez could do it, you talking about could lay that lesson out. Love that woman. Lorraine Hansberry, Ashe. Oh, yes, yes. Maul and Rudolph Russell. Yes, yes, yes. Tony Morrison, Ashe. Dr. Benjamin Mays, Ashe. Michael Beckwith, Ashe. Miss Rose Norman, yes, 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 Ashe. Mr. Bobby Hunter, Ashe. Dr. Charles Finch, Ashe. Dr. Freddie Davy, Ashe. Dr. Dennis Kimbrough, Ashe. Nikki Giovanni, Ashe. Yes, y'all, yes, 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 yes. Dr. Melva Sampson, Ashe, yes, yes. Dr. Jermaine Archer, Ashe. Oh, my God, my God. Mighty, 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 mighty teachers. Dr. Louise Midget, I say. Dr. Arthur Jones, I say. And to every teacher who gave their money, oh, God, their time, their effort, their hope, their imagination to transform a life, we honor you. I say, I say, I say, oh. Wow. Wow. See, if some of you were like me, you needed a teacher desperately, not just that you had one, you needed one desperately because of your context, because of your living situation, because of the life you had been given. And I'm telling you, I needed a teacher desperately. And I had some. Let's do these proverbs, proverbs about teaching and teachers. Proverb number one, get ready. You might want to write these proverbs down. Listen, y'all, you might want to write these proverbs down. Lord, have mercy, O oh God. Lord, have mercy, O oh God. Proverb number one. Better than a thousand days of diligent study is one day with a great teacher. Oh, my God. Better than a thousand days of diligent study is one day with a great teacher. Oh, my God. God. What? Better than a thousand days of diligent study is one day with a great teacher. Oh my God. Can somebody say, I know that's right. Can somebody say, I know that is correct. Oh my God, baby. That's a hell of a proverb. Yes, 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 yes. Proverb number two, the best teachers are those who show you where to look, but don't tell you what to see. I'm gonna say that again. Somebody's gonna really run and holler. The best teachers are those who show you where to look, but don't tell you what to see. Oh, Dr. Liddell, doesn't that thing bless you? Wow. They tell you where to look, but they don't tell you what to see. Isn't that good? Oh, Sonia, Mama Sonia Horton, is that good? Kata Holly, that thing will bless you all day long. That thing right there will bless you all day long. Come on, y'all. Proverb number three, proverb number three, proverb number three. The mediocre teacher tells. The good teacher explains. The superior teacher demonstrates. The great teacher inspires. If you didn't lift your hands, you don't get it. The mediocre teacher tells. The good teacher explains. The superior teacher demonstrates. The great teacher inspires. Ooh, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Makati, ain't that good? Oh, my God. Lord, have mercy. Y'all, I'm going to pause right here for a minute. If y'all don't mind, press share. Listen, we want to tell the whole world the power of teachers. Because you know what we're going to do this year? We're not going to be scared, teachers. Come on, teachers. We're not going to be scared. We're not going to enter the classroom afraid. No, we're not. No, we are not. No, I'm scared that I might be teaching critical race theory. Hell, I'm teaching it. Huh? I'm teaching it. I'm going to teach truth as long as teaching is in me to do. 
I'm going to teach truth and I'm going to teach our history and I'm going to teach it the way it happened. And I'm going to teach the serious impact of it. And I'm going to teach the hope of our transformation. I'm not going to skip around the thing because somebody might be mad for me at me. A school system might be mad at me. A principal may get mad at me. Then you'll have to be angry because the teacher who won't stand on truth needs to quit. Oh, God, help me, help me. Is somebody with me? Is somebody with me? The teacher who won't stand on truth ought to quit. Do something else. Do something else. The teacher who won't stand on truth, the teacher who will not stand on truth ought to quit teaching. Listen, we're talking about the difference a teacher makes, why we need a teacher in the classroom. We don't need more instructors. We need some true professors, people who have a a, 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 a con conviction to profess, people who have something to really, really tell us that's going to change our lives. That's what we need. Come on, somebody. Ellen, I know I'm talking good. Somebody stay with me now. Somebody stay with me now. Somebody stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. Next proverb. A good teacher is like a candle. It consumes itself to give light to others. Somebody is going to get it. A good teacher is like a candle. It consumes itself to give light to others. Press share, y'all. Take a second, please, and press share. Please, 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 please. We want every student going back to school this year. We want absolutely every student to be excited about meeting her or his teacher. We want every student to be excited about learning. We want every student to go into the classroom with expectation. We want every teacher to go into a classroom with a renewed sense of, of, of urgency, a renewed sense of hope, a renewed sense that yes, it is worth it. Yes, it is. Maybe we don't make the money we should make, but we make the influence. Come on, somebody. We make the influence. A good teacher makes the influence. And we want this year to start. So everybody press share if you would. Please, please, please. I'd be so very, 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 very appreciative. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we talking good. Here's the next proverb. Teachers are supposed to teach you how to think, not what to think. Somebody lift your hands. A teacher is supposed to teach you how to think. People say, well, you can't teach a person how to think. You really can. You, one really can. A master teacher really can. You absolutely can teach a person how to think. In fact, if you're not doing that, you're instructing. You're not teaching. The whole point of teaching is to invite a mind into possibilities, even the ones with which you as a professor or as a teacher disagree. Come on. A good teacher invites minds into possibilities, whether they agree with them or not. They just, All a good teacher wants to know is, can you support what you're saying? Oh my God. Somebody help me. Help me, somebody. Help me. On, help me. Somebody help me. Someone help me. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Next proverb. If kids come to us strong, healthy. If, if kids come to us from strong, healthy, functioning families, it makes our job easier. If they do not come to us from strong, healthy, functioning families, it makes our job more important. I'm going to say that again. If kids come to us from strong, healthy, functioning families, it makes our job easier. If they do not come to us from strong, healthy, functioning families, it makes our job more important. My God. I'm going to say something. I'm going to try not to cry saying it. Do you know for many of you as teachers, you are the last hope. Do you know that many of you, you're the last hope for a fragile young mind? Do you know for some of you, mom and daddy don't have it together. The house is a mess. 
a child comes to school and if they're ever going to discover a destiny, if they're ever going to believe in themselves, if they're ever going to have any self-worth, if their self-esteem is ever going to bloom, it will be because they met you. Do you know how important that is? Do you know how critically important that is? Teachers, don't take that lightly. Don't take that lightly. You have to take that seriously. You have to really come to know and you have to really, truly, 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 truly understand the magnificence of the calling of pedagogy. Oh my God, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, y'all, have mercy. Next proverb. Now I love this one. When the student is ready, <laughs> That's the deepest proverb I have ever heard in my life. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. That is saying to us, student, any, and the student is anyone. When you're ready for transformation, the universe will meet you in your readiness by sending you an elder, by sending you a teacher, by sending you someone who can guide you. What the universe will not let, what the universe will not do, is let aspiration go unmet. I just said something right there. The universe will not, will not let desire die. When the student is ready, come on somebody. Oh my God, the teacher will appear. What you have to be careful of, Obata, what you have to be careful of, uh, oh, Kata Holly, you have to be careful of not wanting the teacher God puts in front of you. Now, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to try my best not to run. Here's how you know. Don't you know most of us wouldn't want God if we could help it? Most of us wouldn't want the God we have if we could help it. We choose another one because God's lessons are too hard. Oh, God help me today. I just said something right there. I just said something right there. I just said something right there. Listen, be very careful of trying to pick and choose which instructors, which teachers you're going to have. Be careful of trying to find the easy teachers in school, in college. I'm talking to students now. Be careful of listening to other students in terms of what teacher you ought to take. Oh, listen. Before you ask a person, What's, what students, what teacher should I take? Should I take the teacher you had last semester? Make sure you admire their mind. I said something right there. Don't ask a person for a recommendation of a teacher if you don't admire their mind. Ooh, I'm a Tosho Jojo Mani. Oh my God, Lord have mercy. Oh, God, have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Have mercy. Take the teacher God gives you because God's also trying to give you your destiny. Lord, have mercy. Let me go on with these Proverbs before I fall all the way out. Next one. When one truly teaches, two are transformed. Now you got to get it quick. When one truly teaches, two are transformed. Listen, if you're a good teacher, you change every time you teach a lesson. I don't care how many times you've taught it. I don't care how many times you've seen it. I don't care how many times you've read that book. If you're truly a teacher, you learn something new every time you do it. Is that right? Every time you do it, you get a new lesson. Every time you do it, you get a new piece of insight. Every time you do it, someone says something to you, suggests something to you that is something you never thought of before. That is true teaching. That's true teaching. Now, I saw this next proverb, and I literally almost ran, took off running. A good teacher affects eternity. What? A good teacher affects eternity. Will somebody shout with me? A good teacher affects eternity. 
I'm going to keep saying it till you get it. A good teacher affects eternity. What does that mean? In other words, a good teacher shapes how you think here and a good teacher it shapes how you imagine the afterlife. A good teacher shapes how you understand all time and all reality. A good teacher invites you to think beyond your physical lived living self. A good teacher invites you into the afterlife to examine that space also. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, God. Ooh, my God. Right now, y'all, I'm in the Holy Ghost. That thing is all over me. I'm in the Holy Ghost. I'm in the Holy Ghost. I'm in the Holy Ghost. Oh, my God. Next proverb. If your students don't know your struggles, you're an instructor, not a teacher. Some of us as teachers are not going to like this one. If, a, if students don't know your struggles, you're an instructor, not a teacher. Why? Because a good teacher is not supposed to hide his or her own truth as they teach the truth. A good teacher, teach, teach from your own truth. And some of our truth is that I struggle. Teach from your own truth. Teach your own reality. Teach your own own life. Yes, 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 that's right. That's right. And don't you know, if you teach well, your student ought to end up smarter than you. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, my toe show Jojo Mani. Oh, my toe show Jojo Mani. Oh, my toe show Jojo Mani. That's why Jesus said, these and greater things shall ye do. Dr. Holly, because you know what Jesus is saying? If you really followed my example, you can part the water without me. If you really follow my example, you can raise the dead too. If you really, truly, if you truly followed my example, there's nothing I've done that you cannot do. In fact, that's the whole point of a teacher. A point of a teacher is not just to make you excited. The point of a teacher is to invite you to be and to become all that he or she knows. Ooh, Sister Omelica. Come on, Sister Omelica. Am I talking good? I love you, Sister Omelica. You are hell of a teacher, an unbelievable, unbelievable teacher. And I taught her son. That's right. That's one of my favorite students. The great, 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 great young man. Buona, am I talking good? Am I talking good? Am I talking good? Come on now. Next proverb, y'all. Come on. The master teacher sometimes changes even what they once taught with great conviction. Now, you got to be mature to get this one. In other words, a teacher is supposed to grow. A teacher is supposed to change. A teacher is supposed to evolve. A teacher is supposed to develop as he or she is teaching. Yes, a teacher is supposed to, at times, come back to a class and say, you know what? I know what I said last week. I know what I said two weeks ago, but I want to revise that. If you would, give me a minute. Give me room just for a second to revise something I told you. And the students will say, but I thought you said, and you're right, I did say it, and I want to revise it. Oh, God from above. See, the teachers who can't do that are using the same syllabus from 20 years ago. I can't hear nobody. The teachers who don't do that are reading the same books. See, there's some people in African-American literature who are still reading Zora Neale Hurston and Richard Wright and Baldwin only. See, you must read them. Let me be clear. They're brilliant. They're masters. They're mainstays in the discourse. But, so, but, but come on, come on, come on, come on. But some people have written some books since then. Oh, I'm talking real, real good. And we are supposed to read them as the teacher. Come on, somebody. Come on. Am I talking? Listen. Mm, oh, God. My God, my God, my God, my God. Y'all stay with me. Next proverb. A great teacher can teach without paper, 
pencil, chalk, or a blackboard. A great teacher can teach without paper, pencil, chalk, or blackboard. What? A great teacher can teach without paper, pencil, chalk, or blackboard. Oh, my God. Somebody's going to get that on their way home. Next proverb. Great teaching is one-fourth preparation and three-fourths theater. Somebody, oh, baby, I, I know that's correct. There are many people who have unbelievable knowledge, unbelievable information. But they have poor presentation. Oh, my God. See, first of all, teachers, if knowledge doesn't excite you, the hope that it's going to excite students is a lost cause. Knowledge is supposed to excite you. But, but by exciting you, I don't mean jumping around the room. It doesn't have to be that. No, no, no. But it should be obvious to your students that knowledge moves you. That's what we mean by theater. It should be clear to students that insight moves your soul. Come on, somebody. It should be clear to students. Come on. That knowledge brings you joy. If it's not, you have a problem. You have a problem. Oh, help. Oh, God. Help, 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 help. Help us today. Oh, God. Help us today. Next proverb. Your worst enemy is your best teacher. Your worst enemy is your best teacher. Your worst enemy is your best teacher. God Almighty. You somebody's got to be more careful. Lord have mercy. Wow. 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 A powerful teacher knows the power of pedagogy. And what is pedagogy? Pedagogy is strategy for the dissemination of knowledge. Strategy for how. How will you help a student discover the depths and the dimensions of themselves as a teacher? How will you help a person understand the importance of grammar? How will you teach fractions? Not whether or not you're going to do it, but how shall you do it? What approaches shall you use? What are the particular creative means you might employ to really help a person fall in love with what you think they ought to love, what you think they ought to enjoy? Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. Somebody help me out on today. We're talking about the difference a teacher makes. The difference a teacher makes. I'm going to walk you through several things about a teacher and the difference a teacher makes. So get ready now and stay with me. Stay with me. Y'all press share if you haven't. If you don't mind, press share. Please, please, please. We're just trying to get the word out. That's all. But listen to what I'm saying. I'm going to say to you. I'm going to say several things to you about the point of a teacher and the difference a teacher makes. Number one, teachers govern the imagination. What did you say, Baba? Teachers govern the imagination. That's the first difference a teacher is supposed to make. A teacher is supposed to make you see beyond your circumstances. A teacher is supposed to make you be able to conceive of an existence that you have never lived. A teacher is supposed to convince you that you could be something that you are no piece of yet. Oh, God, help me today. I feel my help. A teacher is supposed to exalt you enough that you can see all the way across that horizon. And then they bring you back to the valley to prepare you for the journey. I got to go. I know I just said that. I know I just said that. Huh? Huh? Oh, did I just say something? A teacher is supposed to take you to the horizon. 
I'm listen, I'm trying my best to hold myself. I'm trying my best. And cause you to look across and have so much excitement and then bring you back to the valley and prepare you for the journey. That's what a good teacher will do. And that's the difference a teacher makes in your life. You may be poor. You may be destitute. You may have all kinds of struggles against you. And what a teacher tells you is none of that matters. Because there have been people all across the nation who've had your struggles and more and transformed the whole entire world. <laughs> Kata Holly, am I talking? Am I talking? I really wish somebody would let me know if I'm talking. Oh, God. A teacher, number two, invites you to see what you cannot even imagine. A teacher tells you, mm -hmm. a teacher tells you, oh, my God, oh, my God, you're going to be the president of the United States. And the person is five years old in the first grade. And the teacher starts calling you Mr. President. Oh, I'm talking right now to somebody. See, if a teacher doesn't speak you into tomorrow, if a teacher doesn't cast you into your future, they have taught you you nothing. You're already in the now. You don't need a teacher to tell you about the world as you know it. You don't need a teacher to explain to you the hurt and the difficulty that you're in the middle of. No, no, no. You need a teacher to suggest to you that that's not enough to hinder you from your destiny. That is what a good teacher will do. I'm talking to somebody. Baby, I'm talking to somebody. Oh, a good teacher introduces you to knowledge you never knew. Number three, a good teacher introduces you to knowledge you never had. A good teacher introduces you to books you've never even heard of. Dr. Janice Lydell, I thank you for that. Right publicly here, I thank you for that. Dr. Lydell introduced me to books I had never heard of in life. I came from a little rural place in Arkansas. I had never ever, ever, ever heard of Camara Lay. I had never, ever, ever heard of Edgar Middleholzer. I had never heard of Erna Broadburn. I had never heard, I had never even heard of Ngugi Watiango. Never heard of these people. And Dr. Lydell introduced me to these people and loaned me the books that I might read them. A whole world. Oh, God help me. A whole world, an entire universe opened in front of me because these were black people. These were my people. And they wrote so eloquently. They wrote so beautifully. Listen, my, one of my favorite books in the entire world is The Chosen Place, The Timeless People. <laughs> Paula Marshall, if you've never read that book, go get it. When I tell you that woman scratches that book on that sheet of paper, oh, my God, Lord, have mercy. Listen. And a, that's what a good teacher does. A good teacher. If a teacher hasn't read more than the student, give up the mantle. Give it up. A good teacher is supposed to bring before students something that students have never conceived. Come on. Something students have never, ever conceived. Dr. Liddell, you don't even know this, but when I was a um when I was an undergrad at Clark, I was so excited about the books you were talking about. I went to the library and looked up your dissertation mm -hmm. and I never forgot it. The Corolla Whips. That's right. Can you believe? I remember that. And I remembered it because my teacher wrote it. And I was excited about it because this was the teacher who was inviting me into a new realm of knowing, into a new realm of understanding. And I wanted to see what she knew and I wanted to see how she knew it. Oh, my God. Lord have mercy. Somebody gets what I'm saying to you. Somebody gets what I'm saying to you. Listen, that's what a teacher is supposed to do. Number four, teachers present ways of knowing and ways of being that stretch what you thought you believe. They stretch what you thought you believe. I came to Clark College in 1984, I guess it was, 84, 85. And teachers, 
Oh my God, I was a staunch Christian. Oh, I was a conservative, oh, staunch Christian. Oh my God. And student, and teachers, they didn't tell me I had to throw it away. They simply asked why. How do you know that's right? And I said, well, I, uh, Dr. Jocelyn Jackson asked me, do you think God only wrote one book? I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. I'll never, ever forget it. Changed my whole life. Changed my whole life. Changed my whole life. Listen to that question. Do you think God only wrote one book? Oh, my God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I'll speak her name into eternity. A good teacher is supposed to stretch you that way. That's right. A good teacher is supposed to stretch you that way. And it happened for me. And if you get a good teacher, it's going to happen for you. Oh my God, Lord have mercy. The next, a good teacher teaches you the rules, then teaches you how to obfuscate them. Oh my God. There are rules for everything. There are also reasons not to obey them. But you don't, you don't skip the rules because you don't know them. I'm talking good to somebody. There are rules for the comma, rules for the semicolon, rules for the colon. Come on, somebody. And, and you should use them. I, huh? You should use them. But there are times that you can also manipulate them. There are times that you can also play with them and they will play with you in return and you can restrict meaning or you can explode meaning by asking permission to use them in, in ways they are not normally utilized. I'm talking so good. I'm talking so good. Baby, I'm talking so good. A true writer, a true, true writer knows that you don't follow the rules all the time. You follow the rules most of the time. But when you don't, it's not for the hell of it. It's because there is something to be said that the rules cannot carry. Somebody get in this spirit with me. There's something to be said that the rules cannot uphold. And so you obfuscate them. Come on, somebody. Ooh. Teachers, listen, I better go ahead because y'all about to make me fall out. You know another thing a good teacher does, the difference a teacher makes? Teachers teach you. A good teacher teaches you what intellect looks like in humility. What intellect looks like in humility. Because you know what a good teacher teaches you? to ask other people what they think. If somebody didn't shout right there, you didn't get it. A good teacher teaches you that what you think is simply the beginning of knowledge. You need to ask what someone else thinks. And you, and, and you know what you'll discover? You will discover that someone else thought something that never crossed your mind, but it makes perfect sense to you. The only way to be truly brilliant, to be truly genius, is to seek out what other people think. And you should ask for it, not just be open to it. You should ask for it. You should, in a conversation, if people don't ask what you think, you're not having a conversation. You're in a lecture and don't know it. Come on, somebody. Am I talking, y'all? Am I talking? If you're in a conversation and people never say, well, what do you think about what I'm saying? You're in a conversation with an ego. Lord, have mercy, oh God. Lord, have mercy, oh God. Help me tonight, oh God. Help me tonight, oh God. And there is no genius there. 
Genius is always seeking another way of seeing. Genius is always seeking another way of knowing. Genius is always inviting another point of view. Genius is always wondering, do I have it right? Genius is always open to the possibility to, that I didn't see at all. Genius is always, always seeing what else might be lurking in the place where I think I've already gone. Genius is wondering, did something new get created last night that I might have missed? Omatosho Jojo Mani. Omatosho Jojo Mani. Lord have mercy. Oh God. Ooh. God have mercy. Help me. The next thing a teacher does, the difference a teacher makes. You know what a good teacher, a great teacher teaches you? Don't open your mouth until you've done your research. Don't open your mouth until you've done your research. Have you ever been in conversation with someone and it was absolutely obvious that he or she didn't know what they were talking about? You ever been in a conversation with someone and they were arguing hard and it really mesmerized you how hard they were arguing because it was completely obvious. It was completely, it was a grand revelation that they had done no research whatsoever. Ooh, Omatosho. Oh, God, help me. Has somebody ever been in a conversation with somebody and you were flabbergasted at the absolute conviction in a person's voice and all they were talking was pure foolishness? See, this is why people right now this critical race theory, critical race theory has really come to show just how unintelligent and how unintelligible too many of us are. I said it because first of all, critical race theory, first of all, nobody's teaching it. Practically no one is teaching it. Number two, it would do nothing but bring insight because there is a truth in this land. I'm going to say it. There is a truth in America. There is truth about America that does not feel good. There's truth about America that hurts. There's truth about America that tells, that exposes the ugliness of the way of the ways in which this place was conceived. But everyone gets to grow. See, the problem is not that the history is ugly. The problem is that we're not mature enough to grow from it. Everybody's history is ugly. Everyone's history includes ugliness. The question is, are you mature enough to own it and grow from it and do better? Come on, someone. Come on. Come on. That's the real catch. See, the problem with American racism is we're not mature enough to tell the truth. If we were mature enough to tell the truth, we could get past things and move forward and work together as human beings and as entities, all of whom have the inheritance of the creator. Oh my gosh. Listen, Dr. Liddell says, and it's right, teach critical race truth, not critical race theory. Cause let me be, let me be honest. The fact that you enslaved my people is not a theory. The fact that you lynched my mothers and fathers from trees is not a theory. The fact that you hosed down nonviolent protesters is not a theory. The fact that you shot Breonna Taylor and she had done nothing is not a theory. I'm talking good to somebody. I'm talking good to somebody. The fact that you kicked and slapped and raped black women and men simply for your own pleasure America is not a theory. Teach critical race truth because critical race truth can stand. I don't care what other people think about it. Critical race truth can stand whether people like it or they don't. Other folks don't have to agree. You don't have to agree. But it shall still be so. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Am I talking good? Oh, God, help me on today. Come on, y'all. Yes, yes, yay. A teacher will teach you that knowledge is really a communal event. 
Dr. Maisha Kariyamu Hand, I'm feeling you right here on this point. Knowledge is really a communal event. What that means is if you could really have the greatest knowledge, I have a dear, dear, dear sister, an Umi, who believes the greatest wisdom is always collective wisdom. Why is that true? Because the greatest wisdom cannot reside in any one head. The greatest wisdom cannot reside in any one head. Collective wisdom is your greatest wisdom. The greatest insight is collective insight. The greatest knowledge is when you put what you know or what you think you know with what other thinkers and what other scholars know or what they think they know. And you and you batter that literally together. And what you come up with is greater than what any of you could have had together. That's why sometimes in schools, teachers will put you in groups together to learn. Sometimes it's not always fun. But the, but the point of that really is to see if your point of view might be sharpened by someone else's point of view. Because if it is, and when it is, you are transformed and you grow. Oh my God. And the last point I'm gonna make, a great teacher invites students to watch him or her learn. When I was in high school, Miss Ann Crowfoot, one of the greatest teachers I've ever known in my life, Miss Ann Crowfoot was getting a graduate degree, my English teacher, and she was reading for her class one day. She was reading her book while we were reading our book. And I remember glancing over at her desk and just wondering what she was reading because we were the students. I was like, well, you know, we are, I, I know why we reading. Why is she reading? And I went to her desk and I said, Ms. Crawford, do you mind me asking what you're reading? And she said, oh, sure. And she told me what she was reading and why. And it made me absolutely excited to know that the teacher studies. Somebody's going to get this in one minute. The teacher studies even more than you, even more than the student. I didn't know that the teacher still has homework. <laughs> that thing excited me and it excited me because I said, oh, wow, there's no end to this. It goes on and on. The teacher studies. Oh, my God. Lord, have mercy. Oh, God. Oh, my God. But the student needs to see it. The student needs to see the teacher bow down before his or her own lesson. Because then the student will understand that however smart you think you are, your teacher beat you by many, many years, by many, many lessons. And, and, and however smart you think you are, the teacher is constantly doing homework as you're doing it. Oh, somebody's in the Holy Ghost with me. So if that's true, if that's true, your teacher is even more brilliant than you might have perceived. And why is that exciting? Because then the teacher never runs out of knowledge, never runs out of things to tell you, never runs out of ways to excite you, never runs out of books to suggest to you, never runs out of ideas to share with you. Oh, my God, Lord have mercy. Y'all, I've been teaching at Clark Atlanta University. This, Dr. Liddell and Dr. Best, this is my 30th year on faculty. Can you believe that? This is my 30th year as a faculty member at Clark Atlanta University. And I pray to God that I have been as transformative as the teachers I've had. I pray that I have touched lives and influenced people and excited people about knowledge and introduced books. And, 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 and I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray that my life has touched students the way students have touched me and the way teachers have, to, have, have, have taught me, right? This is so, 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 so important because this makes a life worth living. It makes your, it justifies your breath. Lord have mercy, that almost took me out. Yes, yes, doing this kind of work justifies your breath. It makes getting up in the morning exciting, right? Thank you, Akwe, I love you, I love you, I love you. And what I wanted to do more than anything is teach black kids the magic, and the wonder and the beauty and the power of this black, this African inheritance. 
When I tell you being black excites me, and it excites me, yes, we've had toils, and yes, we've had tribulations, and yes, we've had difficulties. But what I know, what I know, in terms of what my people have done, where we've been, the character we maintained in the midst of other people's ugliness and insanity, I couldn't be more proud of a people if I died and came back again. And that's what I want to teach. And that's what I hope I've taught. I want to teach that we have come from the best, the baddest, the most beautiful, the most amazing, the most remarkable, the most achieved bloodline on this planet. In the midst of all the difficulties, I don't know how in the world we still thrive. But here we are. See, I sit here because Harriet Tubman dreamed. I sit here because Frederick Douglass believed. I sat. I sit here because Nat Turner knew. Oh, y'all gonna. Oh, God have mercy. Ooh, I believe in my soul that these ancestors dreamed you and dreamed me, and those dreams became the reality. See, the dream of the ancestors is the ashe of the gods. What? Our job, our job is to give an ashe and to continue the work handed to us. Our job is to understand that what we were given is too precious for us now to be niggas. I said it. I said it. The blood black people shed, this is teaching, the blood black people shed to maintain black life is too precious for any of those people to be bitches. I'm going to say it. Uh -huh. I'm going to say it. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. All the work and all the sweat our ancestors put in for the hope that their children could go to school is much, 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 much too important for us now to shoot one another. To, to come on, to degrade and to demean one another. Am I talking good? Oh. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy, oh God. See, when you really understand the impact of a teacher, what a teacher will help you to understand is the magnitude ooh, of who you are and the price that was paid for you. And because of that price, the hope that the ancestors have in you. And that hope is the hope of the ages. You've got to make it. Hey, y'all, you got to make it. You got to come this way. Black men and women, we've got to stand by each other and we have to honor each other. And we have to say, forgive me, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. We have to do this because the race is not over. We got a leg to run and we got to win it. I'm talking good. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, let me wind this up because this is about to really send me out. Oh, my God. The, the price our ancestors pay teaches us you better value this black skin, baby. This black skin cost somebody all the breath in their bodies. What? Your job is to conjure them in the spirit and put their breath with your breath and sing a song of liberty to this world about the magic of who we are. Go teach and go learn. Love y'all. See y'all next week. Bye y'all.